What's up, guys? Mom, my moon here. Today, react to, I finally made a TikTok account just for this. <sighs> yes, I made a TikTok account for this. Please feel free to follow me. But today, we're going to be reacting to some freaky, creepy, creepy. Creepy. That's not even a word. Freaky, scary, creepy stuff on TikTok. So yeah, let's try to scare Mel and I today. <laughs> let's get to. I got my blanket. I got my blanket ready. I got my dog. Where the dog go? Where the dog go? Where the dog go? We're going to check out some movies that are banned for being too disturbing. Part one: The Poo Keepsy Tapes. Poo Keepsy. What kind of the name is Poo Keepsy? Check the comments for a surprise. Is there anything walking towards me like that? I'ma say, I got him, but I'ma kick you in your face, bro. No, literally, I don't know about you. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> I literally forget I have a cat sometimes because my cat just like peers. She goes sits in the bathroom. And my sometimes my door shut, and she just peers around the corner and stuff like that. Anyway, back to the video. I would just close my eyes and just be crying. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, this creepy creature on my goat! It slithered away. Ew. I think it probably could have been a snake. Could have been a snake. Stinky wakeys. What the goat doing? Oh, it's really wrapped around the goat. What is what is that? Man, people be finding some weird creatures out in this time of year. Don't worry, that's just my other aunt. She's just, she just literally like. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'd be running. Forget that. Ooh. Ew. Oh, the ghost. shit! A ghost! <laughs> <laughs> oh, scary. This is just funny. Oh, shit. I'm so bad. <laughs> This is hilarious. I'm going to whoop that ass! <laughs> okay, I gotta like this one. This one's funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just did. I don't know why I found this funny. This is so stupid. Man, oh, shit. I would have asked him. I would have punched him. Imaginary <laughs> friends are real. Amy? What the fuck? Oh, hell no. Amy. Hell no. Amy. <laughs> Amy. Sap, 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 sap. What the fuck is this? Run it over. You know, this is some white people shit, man. If it was, a, if it was anyone else, we would have ran it over. Man, if it was me on the four wheel, I wouldn't. First of all, I would not be out on the four wheeler at night or anything. Cause freaky stuff happened at night. I don't know about y'all, but I'm. You ain't gonna never catch me out at night. I stop. I stop. It was like a giant cool on you. Bitch, run it over. Run it over, dude. I stop. Why y'all just staring at me? I'm one of the mean people. Like I don't care what it is. If I see something creepy and coming after me, I'm going to hit it or run it over. Oh, he no, bro. You, you get a pun. 
These two sisters saw something that still haunts them to this day. On January 20th, 1996, at 3 p.m. in Virginia, Brazil, two young sisters decided to take a shortcut home so mean, to a so vacant parking lot where they allegedly encountered something terrifying. I just have a bad sense of humor, so forgive me. Terrifying. They came across this ugly looking creature described as having large red eyes, oily brown skin, V-shaped feet. Come on, someone someone on the YouTube comments. Come on, so, tell me what game this is from. And three rounded bulges on its head. Many people compared this being to the mythical Latin American creature known as the Chupacabra. It's now, if chupacabra, you thought that wasn't easy bro. on the eyes, wait until you find out that the creature had a... Chupacabra is like goat, like goat blood. Strong putrid smell of ammonia. He supposedly smelled like ass. Anyway, <laughs> like, when the two young sisters... He smelled like ass. <laughs> he smelled like... <laughs> Made eyes on the creature, it's safe to say that it wasn't love at first sight. The creature spooked the bejesus out of them, and so they the ran to their mother to explain to her what they had just witnessed. Now, prior to their sighting, I'm two sorry. farmers, I, I, I a woman quit. and her husband, woke up to their cows going nuts outside. And to their surprise was a strange object in I the sky. The hey, where'd you get that I want to believe poster? I want one. ...of a bus, which was emitting smoke. Later that evening at around 6 p.m., Two police officers spotted a bizarre animal collapsed on the road. An officer named Marco Cherise scooped the creature up and took it to a local hospital which contained a special quarantine area. Animals were dying at the local zoo without any explanation and Ooh, weird shit okay, was that just is going creepy, down. Though. But it gets weirder. Almost a month after the incident, the police officer Marco Cherise that picked up the creature passed away in a local hospital. It okay, was reported that, that he developed an abscess and flu-like symptoms right before he died. What's even more trippy is that the two sisters who witnessed the other creature were later visited by five men who offered them money to keep hush-hush on their encounter. To this so if you hear any other talking in my room, it's because I got my YouTube on in the background and listening to Daco. I have to have background noise when I'm doing anything because it keeps, me, keeps my nerves calm. So, that... Hey, the military continues to deny the story, and as a matter of fact, one of my favorite filmmakers of all time, James Fox, is releasing a documentary on this incident later this year. He actually made the documentary The Phenomenon, which I highly encourage you guys to watch. So yeah, this is basically like the Roswell of Brazil, and the military is totally covering this case up. It was too risky, you know? People find out about this, especially in 96, and they'll all go crazy. I understand why they would cover it up at the time. But folks, the time has come to urge governments to release this info to the public. The majority of people are ready for disclosure. Before I go, I wanted to thank each and every- No. Creepy videos on the internet, part 230. Midnight Jones. Oh, this is actually from Scary Stories POV, and uh, if you never checked out so, so, uh, Scary Stories POV, I think I've- reacted to one of their videos and literally I wasn't able to sleep that night low-key no seriously my duo is speed working backwards creepy stuff out in the ocean a bus with a skeleton. People statues. Okay, I would not. I would not be freaked out by seeing a bunch of people statues as long as they don't move or anything. What is that? A sea spider. Oh, and it's so weird looking. Okay, from World War Two. Oh my eye. My eye itches. Who are you saying good night to? Who? Jugger, there's no one up there. What the? I'd be like, who the hell are you saying at night? <laughs> as a parent, no, as a parent, if I was a parent, like, I babysat my cousin, so I got a story for y'all. So I think when I was around 14, I think, I think I was 14 or 15 around time. 14 or 15, one at a time. But we just moved into this one house, and uh, one of the younger cousins, it was a nice house. It was a real nice house. It had a... Uh, Kind of like a basement that was turned into a room, but, like, so... It wasn't that long, long, but, um... How do I explain this? Anyway, one night, a couple... Like, after almost two years of staying in the house... 
I shared a room with the oldest sister, and most of the time I spent time, I was homeschooled, so I spent most of my time at home. It was just my grandparents' room. My grandparents' room was across the kitchen into a different room, and we had, like, this big backyard and a sliding door and all that, so yeah. Anyway, what, it was one night, and I was just, like, walking out. I walked outside to go get my dog because he was going nuts. And, like, we had, like, neighbors that kind of, like, barking dogs and stuff like that. But, uh, but of course, the dog's gonna bark if you see something. But, of course, I did see something. I was in, it was in the backyard, like I said, it was at night, it was pitch black. We had some, we had some light in the yard, but not a lot. My dog was going nuts, and I was like, okay, I guess it's time to bring a dog in. So, I walk outside, and all of a sudden, I see, like, this person in the middle, like, like, in the corner, like, I guess he jumped the fence or something from the parking lot next to us. Because it was, like, a ch- We lived next to a church. But there was, like, this person that's, like, in an all-white hoodie. And I was literally freaked out. No joke. I ran back in the house. <laughs> and I'm yelling, like, Grandma, Grandma. And she's like, what is wrong with you? I was like, there's someone in the backyard. She's like, that's probably why the dog is barking. Because someone's in the backyard. So she comes with me so I can she stays outside with me and she sees nothing. I guess they left, whoever it was, but then she's like, There's no one back here. Why are you pulling my leg on me? That's not funny. And I'm like, Grandma, there's someone in the backyard. I swear I saw someone. And so so she goes back and she leaves me. I grab went and grabbed the dog. Next thing I know the person is there again. And I'm like, Okay, I'm done with this. So I quickly grab my dog and run back in the house. And uh yeah, there's that story. The next following night, my cousin, the youngest, the second to the youngest one, he, um, I don't know, he would, he wouldn't, he couldn't go across the kitchen at night into my grandparents' room, and, like, it, would th- it went on for a couple of nights, he started just screaming, and he would go, as soon as he, the first night he went in there, we kept her, hearing him screaming and hollering, and he was just crying, yelling, there was someone at the back door, there's someone in the yard, there's someone standing there in the front, the, the front of the screen door windows, so after a while, we put a curtain there, and he still kept seeing something, like a shadow. And we eventually decided, he had to have one of us older kids walk him across his grandparents' room almost every night because he would not go there whatsoever. So, short moral of the story, uh, don't walk outside at night. Don't trust your kids when they, well, if your kids say they see something, they see something. Who's up there? Show me. Who's up there? Who's up there? Who's up there? Jagger, there's no one up there. Like what? He's been talking to that vent, and then he was blowing it kisses. And I'm creeped out Oh, hell no, that's not in the mood, like, lady. Seriously, I'm not joking. I'm so creeped out right now. Who are you saying? Good night. Not- Abandoned animatronics before and after. Okay, Jaws. Nom, 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 nom. Mmm, delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Bert the bunny, bunny. Ooh, that's disturbing. Abandoned. Okay, ring cam gone wrong. That's a big cat. We had a big cat like that once. Now I swear something jumped out. I'm end up throwing my phone across the room and crying. Oh, they have two cats. I like cats. I kiss your babies. God damn, you're freaking scary, bitch. Oh, she's making sure her daughter's putting away her stuff and all that. Huh. I don't know about y'all, but I sleep with the lights on and stuff like that. Like, I don't sleep with light on. Make sure I sleep with my TV on and all that, you know? I'm in the river, and I'm having a baptism. Let's just let her go. Oh, my God. We actually know. But anyways, I'm in the river. I hope there's, like, I keep hearing, like, voices. Girl, you got too much makeup on. I hope there's not, like, a man out here. <laughs> but anyways, I'm in what the river. What Trigger warning. Vassal, if these images vassal, frighten you, you have I can't even English. I don't think I can do that. Oh, no, no, don't do that to that baby. Don't do that. Oh, that's creepy. 
Does anyone else have a fear of drowning? I think that I think that'd be the worst way to die. Bruh. Oh, just no. What the hell? And uh, what, what would I do? I'd be like, <laughs> I'm out. Burn the house and everything. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. People ask me, people ask me why I don't like dolls. This is exactly why. When I was a kid, my grandmother had like a little, like a little doll, but we didn't know it was a voodoo doll. So like. I swear, when it was when I was a real kid, I was still in elementary school. I was like in third or second grade, second or third grade, and my grandma comes home and like, and my grandma comes home after uh, going to like a little garage sale. We always went to garage sales a lot as a kid. So anyway, when I was a kid, my grandma comes home from a garage sale, yada yada yada, and she brings home like this little sewn up little doll with jewels on its face and googly eyes. I thought it was kind of cute until, like, an hour later, I was just, like, sitting in the kitchen eating some chicken noodle soup because also I wasn't feeling good, too. And the kitchen, not the kitchen, the living room was, like, right next to the dining room. And my grandma had, like, this big, huge uh, TV stand. Not a TV stand, but, like, a big TV thing or I don't know what you call them. But anyway, uh, it was sitting on top of the TV stand and just sitting there dangling its legs and just looking at me. And I'm like... I thought one of my cousins was pulling a joke on me. I was like, okay, maybe my cousin's home. Maybe she wants to pull a prank on me. So I was like, okay, you know what? That was funny at first. And like the few next, the few, the whole entire day, I had enough of it. And I was like, okay, look, grandma, cousin, look, I love y'all, but y'all gotta stop scaring me with the doll. And they're like, first they're like really confused looking at me like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, you're not moving the doll and scaring me around the house? They're like, no. So that's when it hit me. They were confused and like, something's wrong with that doll. Something's wrong with the doll. And like, I was sitting in the living room the next day because like, I stayed at least almost three, two or three days because I wasn't really feeling good. And my grandma finally def- believed me after I said the doll was sitting on the bed. Like, a, it was like probably about the size of my hand, so like probably one or two inches. Hi, like a little, it was an itty bitty little doll, like I said, itty bitty little doll. And, um, like, uh, it was just sitting, dangling its legs, like, literally moving its legs, looking at me from the, from the bedroom, and I was just sitting there on the couch trying to watch TV, and when, like, I feel it staring at me, and that's when it hit me, it was the doll just sitting there dangling its legs, like a little kid looking at me. That's why I lost it, and my grandma tried burning it, which it wouldn't burn. She tried cutting it with scissors, and we broke the scissors. She put it in the trash can, and it came back in the house. And for some reason, this doll was oddly attached to me. Biggest scary story of my life. Scariest clips take from movies, part one. Watch at your own risk. By the wind. Okay, that's creepy. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Did you say rat man? Are, are, you, are you the rat man? Okay. At that point, I would have kicked them in the face and ran like, this shit, I'm out. This man died in his sleep and his soul is captured leaving his body. Oh, I, see, so it just literally gives me the creeps. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Cause I really don't, I don't like, I, I know there's like men's that exist and I don't believe in good spirits or anything like that. So like the place where I work at now, I'm not going to say anything bad or where what the place is, but there is a fourth floor and we decided to discover the fourth floor one night. We was like, okay, you know what? We'll go to the fourth floor. Then we went to the basement. Fourth floor was kind of creepy, and I swear my friend was like, there's something over there in the corner. I look around, I see nothing. She's like, okay, we gotta get in the elevator and get out of here. And then we decide to hit the basement next, and my friend, of course, she's a bit, she's a bit kooky from crazy for doing this, but 
one of my coworkers was like, I don't want to be pissing off this ghost here at night. And I was like, I was like, there's no such thing as ghosts. There's just probably people playing tricks on your mind. Hurry, I saw something scary. Terrifying videos found on the internet. Okay, the water's getting deeper. The car right there. The I'd rather door. be in my truck than that car, because I'm pretty True. sure I got a lot of weight on here. Daddy, I think there's uh, a fire on my door. I'm it? guessing. And will you switch it? I ain't got, I ain't got water. Daddy, 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 hurry. I saw something scary. Then the theory, the look the theory. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> I think this is good. <laughs> it's like, hey! Don't run up them stairs. <laughs> hey, what I tell you about running up my stairs? <laughs> WTF did we just find? What is that? That is so weird looking. The back rooms. Ugh. Don't you just love the back rooms? <laughs> I did a video on the back room, so. Only thing that would creep me out is that if the eyes moved. WTF did we just find? That's weird, bro. I saw something, something scary. No, 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 no. Abandoned hospital no left everything left behind. Cold. Why is everything left behind? Or you're gone away, go neighbor next door. Okay, that's real creepy. Daddy, I think there's a spider on my floor. Is it? And will you squish it? You call me in. Can we go to the cinema? Backroom's next dream core. I decided to add some little funny shit in here. Pick a movie to watch. Okay. You fall asleep during the movie. The worst thing ever. Well, you pay a lot for the movie, then you fall asleep during it. It's like, dang it! You wake up and everyone is gone. Nope! Where's this place at? Okay, I'm gonna turn this one up because I can barely hear. No, man. The scariest legends in Virginia. What's up? Scary. scary. Night walkers. The ragdoll. This makes me not want to move. Spirit. Toby. Toby, kitty cat. Daddy, I think the mist wraith. The mist wraith. He's, he's, he hangs in the mist and he's so s- <laughs> I'm so mean. Like, I'm not mean, but I like making fun of scary The scariest. Stuff. Scary facts you didn't know about. Okay, hit me. There's an actual place called the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. Let's go to the middle of nowhere in Mexico. In New Mexico. An elderly couple lived in a single house located there and claimed to see a Is it is it Eustace and uh, Muriel? Muriel! Strange creature that looked like a skinwalker. After reporting what they saw to the police, the couple strangely... Hey, courage was left behind. He disappeared. Only their dog was left behind. Courage was left courage behind. The cowardly we... dog is based on this story. Scary fa I got chicken skin now. What in the hell? Maybe he just has no bones. Sister Conscience, why you should not watch at night? Okay. Day. Do the fuck you. <laughs> oh, y'all are seeing this. Hell no. Wait for it. Check this out. I don't understand some people do the most craziest for a YouTube video. I'm not one of them. But I like, I like to react to stupid people doing real stupid shit, or either real scary stupid shit. I'm neither of them, just so I let you know. I'm gonna give you guys a little bonus. Mm. Okay, you're, you're weird. Mm. Alright, that's about as raunchy as I'm gonna get. 
What the fuck? First of all, I would not be there. Second of all, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Man, switch so quick. <laughs> Hey, I like your. I like this dude's ghost face mask in the back. He loves to watch her sleep. Isn't this from um, what you might call it from uh, Life of Luxury? Leave a like down below if you want me to react to some Life of Luxury. <laughs> I like that beat. You kick that mother in the face, he's like, not today. Whatever you do, don't watch this TikTok account at night. This TikTok account goes by the name of... Oh, I think I've seen this dude before. On in room two. This account has been banned multiple times, but always seems to pop up again. The videos on this account are cursed and can cause... Hey, I'm scary not, I, 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 I don't want to be cursed as much, <laughs> as much bullshit that goes on in my life. Hell no. Will make your skin crawl. Okay. Point four. If you saw someone unfamiliar in your dream, it could. Bro. 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 My dude. <laughs> Hell no. That may be the ghost watching you while you are sleeping. Man, okay, I'm gonna say it right now. Look, when I moved here to where I am now, so where I used to live, I used to live in like a, a 12, 12 floor story apartment. And like, it wasn't until like a couple of months later, someone told me that someone died there. And it's like, what? I just stood at the lady. She's like, yeah, so and so died there. It was a sweet little old lady. She died there. She was a hoarder though, and all that. And I'm like, I swear, I got chills after that lady told me that, but, like, the first few nights when I first moved in there, there was always someone, like, um, standing at my door, or soft knocking, I would hear, like, this weird noise, and it was like, oh my god, I would really like to sleep, <laughs> and my dog kept just, like, standing, sitting next to my bed, and just growling, like, his fur was on end, and I was terrified, and I'm like, okay... If you shiver for no reason, mean the ghost is passing near. If you shiver yeah, for right. no reason, it means that a ghost is passing near or through you. If you hear a knock at the door or your doorbell rings and you look and saw no one there, don't open the door. I don't open the door in general unless I look through that people. Superstition indicates that you'll be inviting a ghost into your house. Scary. Sis, don't start to ruin expecting. Hit me with your best shot, fire away. You bitch. <laughs> I, I swear when I'm scared. <laughs> Scary facts that will make your skin crawl. Okay, part six. Point six. Phobias are based on how we died in our past life. Maybe that's why we're afraid to do things we never tried. Okay, honestly, I don't believe in that past life stuff, but I'm going to tell you right now, I have a severe phobia of dolls. Like, Barbie dolls, baby dolls. I will not, especially, but mostly with the most freakiest things of old dolls. They're like, like they kind of look lifelike, but they have like, um, what is it? There's a lady where I work at, actually, that has dolls in her room. And, like, I got used to them. I was like, you know, these... It kind of got used to them at first. I would never go in there. But now I do. But, uh, I do not like dolls whatsoever. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Because it's how we died. Oh, and I don't like Furbies. Experts said that dark areas, such as abandoned houses and vacant rooms, are the possible places where you can feel the presence of ghosts. So, so if you're alone right now while reading if this you're post, watching me, there is I a chance that you. someone is watching you. If you're awake at night without a reason, then it means that you are awakened. 
okay, for one reason, if I'm awake at night, I want whoever to thinking about me and I can't sleep. Stop thinking about me! Someone else's dreams. Scary facts. Serial killer facts that are absolutely shocking. BT point. Does anyone else watch those weird documentaries and say, like, serial killers, or is it just me? Two. Ted Bundy requested for his ashes to be spread in the Cascade Mountains of Washington State. What? The same place where four of his victims were found. That request was fulfilled. Okay, that's Robert creepy. Bitton, the pig farmer killer. The pig farmer killer? Okay, have you ever seen this movie called, uh, Farm- uh, Not Farm Animals, but this movie where these people wear all these animal masks and they, like, harvest human they eat people? That was the most freakiest movie that literally gives me chills. Also, Midsommar gives me chills. I'm gonna just say that right now. Would process his victim's bodies in the same processor he would put pigs Ew. in to make ground pork. It is very likely that the townspeople he serviced unknowingly ate human remains. Ew. Ed Kemper, the COVID killer, used his mother's decapitated head as a dartboard after he killed and sexually Ew. He assaulted her. Siri. I want to see those bloody footprints. <laughs> this is actually one of those mats that, like, I wanted to get from my grandma just to freak her the fuck out because I'm evil like that. I used to scare the living day of my grandma when I was a kid. And I, I, I still do. But I do it just for fun, and it's like, nowadays I really don't want to do it because she has heart problems. Should not watch at night. Going to watch at night. No, wait, it's one four, it's not night. <laughs> Ding dong. Run her over! I don't care what you do, you get out of Dodge. You run, you bitch. Scary stories about Disneyland, except this one, there's actual proof. One okay, time a guy went to Disneyland and was waiting to ride the roller coaster on Space Mountain. Okay. He was standing in line when a guy with red hair came up to him and started talking to him. He seemed nice, but he Okay, if someone randomly just started coming up and talking to me, I would just be... I would talk to them back, but I also feel a little bit odd. It was a little bit odd. But the thing is, when the ride was over, this red-haired man literally vanished into thin air. The guest reported this what incident and was told that he was alone the entire time. This guest might I'm have just encountered creepy. a ghost people know as Mr. One Way. Rumor has it that he's the ghost of a man who passed away while on the ride in the 1970s. He That's always vanishes sad. right before the ride is over, and he likes to talk to people who are riding the roller coaster alone. People have also reported seeing him in the cast member locker rooms. Follow if you want a part two because there's... Maybe we videos on the internet. Oh, there's a ghost. That you will be gone. Oh, I can't look at that. This is going to give me chills. I have the purge music. It's a card to me his own grave. Isn't what really happened to this dude? Did he commit suicide or like what happened really? Scary video from the internet. I literally got chills all of a sudden. I don't know about y'all, but like at night, I literally have I like keep my bathroom light on because like you don't know what could be lurking, and I have a plus I have a cat and her little boxes in there. I forgot I had the light on in there. That's funny. <laughs> you scare me. I'm gonna punch you so hard. <laughs> Bitch! Scare. I tried to scare the kids. This is evil to do. If you do this to your kids, they're gonna end up in therapy a year from now. They're gonna end up a year from now in therapy. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? I tried to scare the kids. Ma'am, this is why, like, sometimes also kids can be creepy. I will say this. God. That mirror's a bit odd looking, bro. Oh, heck no. Y'all see that? Even the dog's like, I'm out. 
The dog's like, I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> oh. Let me love you. Boy. Good evening. Lucy. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, they gave me chicken skin. They gave me... My skin itches now, and I literally have the biggest chills on earth. Oh, I literally have chills. I want my dog now. I want my dog to hug me. <laughs> that is so creepy. Did y'all see that? Trip. I would play it a couple more times for y'all to see. Man, I would have slapped the doll too, like, bitch. <laughs> Loki, I'm serious. See, girl. Smile if you're alive. <laughs> Them eyes. She was winking like, hey. How you doing? Wonderful weather rally. <laughs> I'm normal, filter, but cool. Burn it anyways. <laughs> Me. Burn it anyways. <laughs> Watch the door and have a paint of it closed. <laughs> I'm moving. Imagine seeing this at night. I don't know about you. I would slap the cabin blade beat. I don't know about y'all, but I literally used to sleep with a metal baseball bat next to my pillow. Like, it was the weirdest thing ever for me. Like, seriously. I would sleep with the metal baseball bat because I didn't trust anything. And, like, <laughs> I was just paranoid like that. I'm a Worst bachelor. phobia to have. Worst phobia to have. Endemophobia. Fear of insects. So bad. Ew. Oh, I got chicken skin. I can't look at this. Ew. <laughs> I don't like that. Worst phobia to have. Karen and Tim at the age when they both play clean ones are most of them. Oh, it's me. Don't watch if you have glass of coke. Slap her, silly. If I if I ever had a kid and she started doing that, I'm sorry, but I'm probably gonna slap her and be like, "Hey, if this is what you're doing to throw a fit, I do not care. You can slap the spirit right out of them." The inner sex come out now. What in the tarnation, Alabama, Betty Crocker is this? You have to leave. I've seen this one when I first got when I, I remember seeing this as a kid. I was big on it. What the? I remember the whole Slender Man craze where these cats are wholesome. He's like, hey, I want to. He's sitting in the background pouting because he can't come jump on the trampoline. <laughs> He's pouting because he can't come jump on the trampoline. Let's realize we know more about another. He must have been out of. Man, after seeing Snapchat stories, I make me not want Snapchat back. After they told me you can turn off the. Uh, Search filter and people, so it's like, okay, yeah, thank you. They were in a ride. Notice there's someone in the back. Okay, 
Where'd he go? Where'd my good sir go? He must take the mask off. Don't you touch it. Ladies and gents, this is the Oh, that's creepy. I see why people say they're scared of clowns. I just moved into this house with a friend and found this basement has a secret. Ooh. This cabinet has a false back. False back. And an underground passageway. Ooh. It leads to the mines. We're going to Minecraft. It leads to the mines. Mines. It leads to the mines. So we can mine down here and play Minecraft. I just moved into. When I die. I'm going to come back as one of these. When I die, I'm going to what cry. The what the f That's a pig! It's a piggy! It's a piggy. That's a weird looking piggy. What the f Watch her right side. Oh, hell no. Okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. My skin itches. I've got severe goosebumps all over my body, and I got chicken skin. So, I'm done. I'm done.